Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We're going to be jumping in today as, uh, of course, Tainted Samson because we're going to try our very hardest to go and beat Mega Satan because we want to unlock the Crane games because the Crane games, in my opinion, are one of the single most str like single strongest unlocks in the game. Like, obviously, there's other earlier stuff that you could probably class as stronger, but especially for one of the late game unlocks, I would say it's it's probably one of the strongest. It just has such a um how exactly does this work? I'm gonna gamble here and give it the bombs. Okay. See this is exactly the the issue that I foresaw. This hasn't helped me at all. <laughs> um wait a minute. L let's look Yeah, this hasn't helped me at all. Thanks, game. Uh, I'm going to need another bomb to get in there now, which isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, uh, oh god. Oh god. This is a little bit saucy. Um, because I think the crane game is better than, like, unlocking... Uh, there's that bomb we need. It's better than, like, unlocking death certificate or anything, because those are all items that you find on one run. But crane games, they show up reasonably often, and they can give, like, their loot pool is so fucking good. Like, the stuff that you can get from them is so good. Hey, small rock. Awesome. And we, yeah, I didn't realize we destroyed a tinted rock there, so... Didn't really need the soul hearts anyways, so that's pretty good. And of course, we're playing as Tainted Samson here, so we've got the absolute wild damage that this guy has. I actually really enjoy this character. The only point where this character isn't fun is when you have, like, a super cool build in its late game that doesn't utilize his, um, his jawbone, and it just forces you to use it, and you kind of get, like, stuck into it. But this guy has many, many good things about him, in my opinion. I mean, one of them just being his absurd ability to deal damage, another one being his inability to die while in this, but also being able to grab stuff over pits with this dude is, like, super, super nice. I mean, like, I killed the entire boss in, like, four rooms on one charge there. An extra range actually isn't bad because it does affect the, um... The, the distance that we swing, swing, swing. Swing at that tang. Anyways, uh, I will look for a secret room real quick here because I'm pretty sure I know where it is, but I'm just going to quickly make sure of that fact. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's here. There you go. I always say almost certain because I can never 100% be sure how much of a troll the game is going to be. And then second secret room since we got some bombs is probably here. I'll check this out. Unfortunately not. Um, but da -da 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 -da. could it could also be here or here. I'm gonna gamble on this one. There you go. Love that. And honestly, rotten heart, not too bad. Could give us some flies. Could also mean we take a bit of extra damage, but I don't mind. And yeah, I actually don't mind um, headless baby early on here with this setup because we're getting up in enemies' faces, meaning laying creep for enemies that are chasing us is actually pretty darn useful. Um. So, one thing we need to remember is that we need health to trade away devil deals for the devil keys. Because we're going to be going to the dark path route. And if we want to beat Mega Satan, we're going to need the dark keys. Because we have a mod that changes how that works. Um, which is a cool mod. I like it. But it does mean that we need more HP than we otherwise would. So, that's a little bit risky. And it means that the devil deals themselves, we might not be able to afford. But, we'll see how it goes. I think this guy should be able to handle it regardless. I'm just doing the, the sideways shots here so I don't have to get in line with this guy. So that would be rather annoying. Um, oh, these bloody shitheads. They're good. Enemy uh, rooms with like flies and stuff like this are so, so good. Because it's just like unlimited charge. Unlimited charge for this thing. Now, I do have to be careful to not lose it here. Oh, just lost it, unfortunately. We do have a library here, which is really nice, though. I like that. Don't have an active item right now, so... Speaks to me. Um, and Big Chubby, he's fine. He's just fine. Um, and then... Oh, we got a golden book! <laughs> we also got the Ipecac, uh book, which... I don't know if I want the Ipecac book. Because the Anarchist's cookbook here being gold is fucking useless because it ju it's just going to give us two books but we can take them both anyways so oh wait 
It's not even gonna give us two books. Okay. I thought I'd like split into two. Shame. Doesn't count as two books either for Bookworm. A little bit upset on that, but there you go. Uh, but yeah, honestly, it's the pickaxe book's fine. I don't know how it interacts with our site, uh, our uh, jawbone. It's probably a pretty good thing to have with the jawbone, let's be honest. It's probably synergizing with it, but it's probably going to mean that I accidentally hit myself a few times here and there, which is not what we want, really. Anyways, let's keep pushing forward. As for today's question of the day, what spawns unfathomable unfathomable rage within you what is something that is an automatic anger trigger i always like to theme it around the character we're playing as emperor card is is fine whatever whatever i realized we didn't have to do that room but i wanted to get closer to our rage so that we uh, could basically pop our book ipecac and then have our rage mode going straight away i'm a little bit like scared okay it doesn't matter uh, we got Eternal Heart there, that's great. Flakes of Gold is pretty good. Golden Bomb's rather nice. Um, pop in here. Not a big fan of the red fires being in this room here. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, I knew I was getting hit there, unfortunately. I really didn't want to lose that Eternal Heart, but this attack is really hard to dodge. And he does it a lot. Because he's got those fires, uh, these uh, feathers in the middle. This guy just in general is really tough. I've got golden bombs, I should be using them. Just get as far away from this attack as you can. Damn you, dodging all my bombs. Oh my goodness. I mean, I got a lot of money out of this, so that's fine, but... I'm not particularly happy with how this went. Anyways, we get that. We carry on. Let's take some damage to grab the soul heart here. Um, ex fucking cues me. I took red heart damage to grab the soul heart. So, where the fuck's my soul heart? <laughs> Excuse me, game. Where the hell's my soul heart? You have charged me a heart and you've given me nothing in return. I feel absolutely cheated right now. Cheated and cheated alone. Right, uh... Let's quickly see if we can grab secret room here. Quickly go in here as well. Car battery is interesting. Um, what does this book do on multiple uses? After four, um, we'll give multi shot. Okay, that's good. Purchasing items can be purchased even if they can't be afforded. Debt gives damage down, drops a credit card on pickup. Okay, the credit card on pickup is just worth it anyways. So let's take that. Um, let's try and find our secret rooms here. Okay, Golden Petrified Poop should give us quite a lot here. Right. So, secret room, secret room, where might you be? Could be here as well, I guess. Unlikely, but I'll check it. Right. Secret room or secret room, where might you be? Weird, but it can be there, so I'll check it. Can't be here, but I'll check it anyways. That wasn't even close enough, I don't think. Um, Can't do anything with that, I don't think. Where the hell is the secret room? Is it up from this room here? Yeah, I think it's here. And not a great secret room for us, to be honest. Not a great one for us, to be honest. Requires keys we do not have. Checks we cannot write. And then second one will be here. And... I think I'm going to play this guy out to try and get a heart. Uh, like a, a, a health upgrade. Normally they pay out before. Um, oh, I also got some keys. Nice. 
If he doesn't pay out, I have an idea. Come on, dude. Dude, come on. It's okay. Let's uh, bomb these two first. Right. The idea I had is we can go back over here. We can open this up and get some more money here. Not a lot, but I'm really hoping we get a health upgrade because as I said, we need to be able to trade HP away for our key pieces. So we need as much HP as we can get. Hey, that's exactly what we're looking for. Beauty. You beauty. Perfect. Okay, I think we played this floor very optimally. I think this was good. Uh, we'll keep our credit card on us for the next floor and we'll move on down. I think this has gone very successfully. I'm glad I kept my devil deal. I'm glad I got to get the first key piece. I'm a little annoyed that the game tried to screw me briefly. Um, so now if we use this, yeah, we get double shot Ipecac. That was a really bad devil deal loss there. I don't know if you witnessed what happened there, but that was just idiocy on my behalf. It, it is what it is. I just kind of walked directly into a very obvious shot. Oh, we got a puzzle piece there. Nice. Normally, once you've picked up one puzzle piece, you're, like, very likely to get the, the like, the other ones, um, on the future floors. Bunch of dip babies helping us out. Really polies as well. Good, good. Sadly, slightly mistimed this. Ah, oh, bugger. Didn't work out how I wanted it to at all. Okay. Yeah. Take out one wave, use Ipecac, and then do the rest. Oh, you bugger. It's fine. Our health doesn't matter too much right now, as long as we don't die. Ipecac looks pretty good. I like it. Honestly, the dips keep moving these bats around. It's pissing me right off. Okay, I do get explosive on that. Nice. Um... Unfortunately, not an item that I want. It's an interesting one, but not one that I want right now. I do like the snow globe, but yeah, it's just not really what we're looking for. This is an annoying room. These, these enemies, we need to be killing them fairly, fairly distance apart so the fires don't shoot at us. And we've done exactly not that so far. Right, come over here. I don't want you anywhere near those other purple fires, my good lad. But for some reason, you lack... The decency to do exactly as I've told you. You cheated on me when I specifically asked you not to. Small little golden chest there if you want to play around with that. Ooh, bee skin. Nice. Although with Ipecac, is bee skin awful? <laughs> Maybe. There's a good chance we have to put down our Ipecac book here, <laughs> because <laughs> B-Skin might have ruined it a little bit. Um, don't have a way to generate those at the moment, and I'm liking a golden petrified poop. Right, let's let let's just let's just suss this out. I want to kill everything but one enemy. This is a good room to do exactly that, because we literally can't kill this guy until everything else is killed. You herming freak, stop! Right, do this. Okay. Oh no, every shot is Ipecac. Okay. Unfortunately, Ipecac book, you are you are getting sat the fuck down. You are unfortunately relatively impossible for us to use now. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, but we'll take the snow globe now. Uh causes an earthquake that flips most grids to a random spot. This is pretty good actually. You can do some good stuff with this. It bas it basically moves things, um, and sometimes duplicates them. I think that's some error with Fiend Folio, as you can clearly see here. Um, oh shit, I've uh, <laughs> fucking got myself stuck. Okay, it for some reason duplicates some entities, which I don't think it's meant to do. But that could be to our benefit, so, like with Tinted Rocks, for example. So I'm going to play around with it and see how it goes. I'm curious to see if B-Skin does anything with our, uh, our swingy swings. Okay, it doesn't. No, I didn't think it would. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Um. 
<laughs> okay, this is a bit broken. Little, little, mighty bit broken. Dude, I'm gonna need you to die so I can actually sort this room out. Thank you. There's our next puzzle piece as well. Okay. So yeah, this this item's a little bit busted right now. <laughs> I didn't realize to quite the extent that it is, but it's quite something, isn't it? Right, leave those there for now. We don't have a key, bollocks. Give us a key game. We need one pretty bad. Mainly just to donate, but buying stuff would also be nice if there's a restock machine we can buy quite a lot. Not a fan of this room at all. Holy shit. There is way, way too much going on in terms of these little shitheads for me to be able to move around efficiently in this room. <laughs> Holy shit, there's so many of them. They all fire at such fucking rapid rates. I'm very scared. Here we got him. Dude, why? Why this now? I don't need this. My last puzzle piece. Nice. Fruity plum. Hell yeah. Okay, stud. St uh, spawn a stud on the ground worth one penny, uh, but deals contact. Uh, okay, it's not not very good. Strange. Okay, pretty happy with how things are going right now. Let's just do the boss, because we've got our swingy swing swing. Didn't get the devil deal, unfortunately, which was kind of obvious. Uh, right. Can we get a key? So oh, we got we got a key somehow. Where the hell did we get that key from? <laughs> I was like, can we get a key? We have a key. Holy shit. I don't know why it's duplicating things when it's used. That was a very bad idea by me there. But I'm like, can we generate infinite mushrooms and get items, <laughs> potentially? We can certainly get all the pills. Right, let's go and do our shopping first. Okay, I am not above breaking the game when it is presented to me. I am not above that at all. That was a really bad move by me there. Okay, shopping, we've got... Destroys with any held trinket and spawns two to four um, random pickups. Eh. It uses one to two tarot cards. Cannot use teleport cards. Um... That seems like a lot of fun. First of all, let's just donate as much as we possibly can. Okay, there we go. We jammed up. I like the idea of that. Let's try and break the game a bit first before we, uh, before we do that. Right, back up to uh, as much money as we can possibly get out of this. We could also use this to get unlimited luck if we wanted to as well, if we really had the patience for it. We're up to 99 now. Okie dokie. Uh, right, back to the mushroom room. Mushroom room. The problem is going to be that I'm going hit, to hit myself pretty regularly with the farts, aren't I? And there's not really much way of stopping that. Okay. 
Oh, there you go. There it is. It's happened. Okay, the problem is now that I, I can't really get anywhere to do this, so... I'm just gonna kind of bomb. <laughs> there you go. I would also like my trinket back if I can manage that. Let's let's just bomb through this time around. Oh, there's mini mush over there as well. Lovely. <laughs> Don't really need my credit card anymore. HP down. Fuck you. Puberty. One makes you lot. We'll make sure that's just fine. Tears up is good. But he's good as well here. Puberty. Ranger. Rage. We like that. Infested. Adult. Puberty. Speed up. Speed. Clairvoyance again. Clairvoyance. Infested. Infested. Shot speed. Shot speed Experimental pill. Tears down. Experimental Falls to you. More puberty. Puberty. X -lax. Range. Range. Up. More puberty. Puberty. Tears up. Tears up. More tears up. Tears up. More range up. Range up. Mini mush lovely. More range up. More clairvoyance. More puberty. puberty. More infested. infested. X, -lax. X lax. Unidentified. X lax. Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance. Range up. Oh my god. Okay. I think we got all we needed out of this floor. I'll be going now. Well then. Oh, shot speed. <laughs> yeah, this this run uh, this run kind of kind of went off the rails a little bit there. Um interesting game break. <laughs> Rather interesting game break indeed. I have to say it's quite something. Oh god, we have too much range. I always forget about this. We now have a lot of range to be able to hit far away, but now there's like a, a literal gap between our body and the strike, which is annoying. Right, at the minute I'm just beelining it through the floors because we can. You get it because of bee skin? Beelining? Ha ha ha. Very, very bad devil deal loss there. Like, extremely poor. I just kind of stood next to him thinking he'd die before he got that, that attack off. And he didn't, so... Very bad by me there. Eden's Head uses a random throwable active on item use. Seems potentially quite interesting. Honestly, we're probably done with our snowball head right now. Our snowball, uh, globe. Snow globe. Said it wrong many times. Forgive me if I have sinned. Right. Try and go to the shop and get a uh, soul heart here so we protect our devil deal for the next floor. There's a key, lovely. We can get into our shop now. But yeah, random throwables. There's, there's, there's some really good throwables out there, so I like the idea. There's also some really bad ones too, like Boomerang. It's not bad, but it's just not useful. This guy could pay out with some hot shit. Or he could give us E. coli straight away and nothing else. Wow. That was not what I wanted. I wanted him to give us some stats. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, 
Right. Skedaddle skadoodle is where we go to. We get gone. Right. No soul hearts. We're going to be careful on the next floor. Secret room could very possibly be here. Um, duplicate pickups is probably pretty good. We'll take that. I'll probably just duplicate some soul heart health if I get the chance to. And let's go. Oh shit, that's not a throwable. That's just a hold above your headable. That's not a throwable at all. Cheeky shit. Very good, we'll take that. Very nice. That's not a throwable either. Okay, it should it shouldn't say throwable. They they aren't throwables. Holy shit! She revealed a secret room and a crawl space for us. Thank you. Filling up that burn heart is going to so hopefully secure our devil deal here. Whoa, three puzzle pieces. Wow. Pet Rock. <laughs> you troll. Oh, I do love Pet Rock. He's fucking useless, but in such a good way. Okay, so I have to be very aware that... When it says throwable, it does not mean throwable at all. It just means things that get held above your head. Um, so that can be quite a lot of different things in this game. I'm trying to think if there's any, like, really fucking good ones of those that um, you hold above your head that could be, like, super, super overpowered with this. I'm just going to keep using it outside of combat until I get a feel for what sort of things I might be getting. feeling secret room was there, so I thought I'd check it. Oh, we've already been in secret room. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot for real. Let me leave. That took forever for some reason. Okay, take you out. Doctor's remote again. Okay, seems like it's got a pretty, pretty small selection so far. I've been getting the same things over and over again. How do I kill you? That's how. I just make you murder yourself, I guess. Easy enough. Red candle. Hey, we finally get bookworm here. I'll, I might change my axes out depending on what I get. Cookbook. Only uses a chance to make a food collectible and um, spawn a heart, spawn blue flies, or spawn flies. The heart can. Uh, okay. The Eden's head has more potential to be fun, I think. I'm still figuring it out. I think the Eden's head is a new item that just got added to something wicked. By the way, people keep asking about something wicked. If anyone wants to use it, just join my Discord. There's a link to it in there. It's, it's a mod that isn't officially out yet, but if anyone wants to use it, the developer is completely fine with people using it. It's just there's a link in my Discord. It's pinned in the Isaac channel. Also, the rubber bullets here. Very, very nice. Ow. Oh, I didn't see the flies there for some reason. Last cannon. Risky shit. Oh, my God. Don't actually know how that would work. Um, I guess I'll just take that and then let's do a re-roll here. 
Yes, please. Let's go and do a secret room with this. It's gonna be a slow floor here. We've already missed boss rush. So I don't care. You ought to just get like lump of coal. I mean, I actually don't mind lump of coal, so that's not a bad thing. But hey, butterfly is really good. Smaller hitbox for us, especially when we've got one makes you larger, is nice. I know that one makes you larger. Doesn't actually affect your hitbox, but still, I'm going to mention it regardless. Um, and then the crits and herming that it does are quite nice. Is it crits? Whatever it is. It's good. It's good shit. Rerolled the cactus there. Probably shouldn't have done. Um, is that misprinted to a club? What does that do? Doubles the number of health bombs. Ah. Uh... Not really what I was looking for there, I'll be honest. Give me my Jer- Yera, fuck you. Stop sliding underneath the pill. Give it back. <laughs> ah, you bitch. I don't know if you heard that noise, but I just hit my funny bone of my elbow right on my desk. Ah. <laughs> Such intense pain. <laughs> Holy shit, that was, that was so painful. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. I'm dying. It really likes Doctor's Remote. It really, really likes Doctor's Remote. Oh my god, this pain is unimaginable. Yeah, Doctor's Remote again. The hell. A very, very good room for this. The reason my guy decided to do some swinging of the club there, even though I didn't ask him to. Good, good. We get our devil deal this time. We boomeranged him this time. Okay, this is a very horrible room to fight this guy in. <sighs> He's literally just body blocking me against the corner. That's real fun for me. Luckily, it's taken out. Give me that. Check this bad boy. Don't think I want any of those Devil Deal items, I'll be honest. The nail is good, but not my style right now. Right, let's go. We have the key. We have crafted the key. Now all we need to do is make it to the end of the room, which honestly is pretty feasible. Doctor's remote again. Like 95% Doctor's remote. Oh, this grappling hook. Ooh, a D6. I'll take that for now and I'll come back to my Yera. I do need a bit more base damage, I think. That's something I'm lacking in. When we're swinging, the damage is fine, but regularly? Regularly? It's not great. Linger Bean? That's definitely a, gl a glass D6. And we get Psy Fly as a return? Okay, then. That has been one of the best trade deals I've ever seen. The double arcade machines. Blow them up, boy. Is that a head crab? In the, in the bottom right there. I think that's a head crab. Doctor's Rummer again. I mean, I don't mind a one-room charge Dr. Shremer, because isn't it normally a two- or three-room charge? I don't mind that, but still. It's one of these rooms that I'm very content to skip, but I know I might have to come back through this room, so I want to get it, get it out of the way with... Taking these boys out. 
Looks like we're going the right way so far, at least. We're able to keep our, our meter up so high here because we're just killing everything so fast. Apart from when this guy shows up, you cock. You ruined everything. It's not Doctor's Remote this time. It was Bob's Rotten Head. I did miss with it, though, because I wasn't expecting it. Good. I can't carry them through holding them overhead to the next room. Good to know. Did I even go to my item room? I did. Good. Oh, it's my item room and shop as well. Oh, I didn't go to my shop. I should have gone to my shop. My bad. Bit late for boss rush. Good. All good. The Siva heart there. Right, health isn't particularly great right now. Basically, my hope is we find a, a tinted rock that gives us two soul hearts, and then we yarrow those two soul hearts. We got lucky with this room. None of the uh, the whippy ones spawned next to us. Use the sun here for a bit of mapping. And good to go. We can even hit the secret room up on the way by. You gotta love that. Okay, this enemy's always a bit scary. Don't know what hit me there. I'm a bit blind to it all, I'll be honest. This room's pretty hectic. Thank you, Rockgut, for saving me the trouble there. Got that too angry to die syndrome going on. Might as well get as many rooms out of this as we possibly can. Including rooms that we didn't have to go to for some strange reason. Don't ask me why. A black heart, lovely. A full red heart, lovely. Okay, leave it at that. Check out that secret room, hope for an item. Nope, just a fight with a bitch. And re-roll our projectiles by firing them through the things fell. The quarter though, we did kind of get an item. Not the item I was hoping for, but there you go. Just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. The Balrog head is decent enough. Take out that guy first. Okay, you are very easy for us here. Hey, and eye drops as well. It's really nice. A bit more DPS up. Okay, our damage is a bit better now by the looks of it. It was six point something before. The, the negative gave us a little bit. Okay, this is a kind of horrible room here because these little shooty boys are very good at hitting me. They, they kind of blend in. I think we've just about done it. Yeah, we have. Good, good, good. Mini boss boy. Ahaha, I didn't take any damage to your beam there. I don't know how, but very happy I didn't. I'm glad that the uh, butterfly shots, the ones with the really strong herming, can also adopt our tier effects too. I just saw then that one of the bullets from uh, the bruising bullets uh, actually took effect there. Damn, wrong way. Wrong way already. Right, hopefully this is the right way this time. Flame going on. Yeah, this 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 head def definitely I think it's befitting of being quality one. I mean I had a feeling it could potentially be really overpowered, but I honestly think with the stuff that it's most commonly picking from, it makes sense that it's the quality that it is. I think that potentially it's one of those items that um might have some like really rare ones it can proc that are really good. But for the most part, it's going to proc ones that aren't that good. 
Can this machine stop glitching out for me, please, and actually play it? Like, it's not, it's not pressing it. Do the speed up thing. The speed up thing won't work. I don't know why. It's annoying me. It's going to take me forever to spend all my money now. Like some sort of mug. I just want some soul hearts. Like two. So far, this has been very bad. Holy shit. Come on, like, a few soul hearts, please. I'd even take the active. Dude, this game. It's paid out with so much stuff, none of it's soul hearts. Got like 70 cent into this thing. Okay, there's a soul heart, good. Give me, give me at least one more. So annoyed I couldn't do the fast play on this. Normally the fast play works. I just walk into it and it speeds up. But the game didn't like me. I can't believe we only got one soul heart. Look at all those payouts. That is really unlucky. Oh, come on, you dick. Okay, there you go. I'm at least somewhat satisfied. A bunch of towers. Bunch of lovers. Okay. Good stuff. Get out of here. At least makes me feel a little bit better. Alright, now she just blitz right through the rest of this floor. Now that we've got this as well, we should be able to blitz through it reasonably easily. Need to make the most of our swings. Oh, really? I went the wrong way again? Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose this before we get to the next room. God damn it. Back! Kind of relying on the swings on this run. The extra range helps a lot, even though it's a bit glitchy. Still very nice to have that extra range. Okay, here's the boss. Good. I might do one extra room to try and get closer to my uh, thingy first. Damn it, it actually activated. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Oh shit, I grapple hooked to the boss. I don't know what this means, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I can't take damage, but I'm stuck. <laughs> that was bizarre. Magic sword. Nice. Let me go down. False PhD for damage is pretty good. Let's take it. I will take tears down for damage. Up. Down we go. Okay. Yeah, great that I managed to use uh, the glass cannon there on the one enemy that was invincible in the room. The glass cannon's a pretty good one, but it's pretty rare. It doesn't happen very often. Right. I should hope we go the right way here. Lock down for damage up. Yes, please. Oh, dude. See, just ruins it. Enemies that hide, just ruin things. Don't do that. This guy's probably going to do quite a bit of damage to me because the lasers are just trick my brain into being stupid really not that hard, but my brain cannot comprehend. He 
See what I mean? X-Lax. X-Lax does nothing for us. Hey, that was a huge bit of damage there to trigger this a bit earlier. Uh, what? Oh, my, my uh, sucky boy had one of them in his grips. Okay, this didn't work at all for us. Also, you can't open these with a swing for some reason. Weird. Holy shit, that is way too many bombs, my good guy. What in the fuck are you doing? Like a thousand bombs you're throwing out there. Calm down. That one was basically impossible for me to dodge there. I got stuck in a corner. They fire the blue bomber ones so often. I suppose it's their namesake, isn't it? Still. The bomber boy bombs. Good. Seems like we're going the right way here. I love the way these guys got really worked, like get pushed away and leave that creep pool. It's cool. Why are you guys getting stuck on each other? Why are you getting confused about how to get to me here? Very simple task for you guys. I suppose you are blind, but still. Okay, boss time. Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Damn it, a little bit early. Got the weakening curse on him, though. That helped quite a bit. Get some mini Isaacs in there. Beautiful, first phase done. Bee skin's been quite good as well, actually. I've not really spoken about having bee skin that much, but it's been fun. I just walked into him there, but luckily he's dead. Right, health isn't perfect, but it's decent. See if we get any devil deals we want to take here. Basically, I'm only going to take things that are like piercing or damage ups. Dead cat's not bad. Do we have a guppy item already? We don't. I'm going to take the sack altar and use that. Really? Okay, a theme's good, but go ahead, really not that good. And then I'm going to take dead cat as well here. Take this back. Go ahead, not that good, but a theme should be pretty awesome. We do have minus luck, so it's not going to proc a ton. We should proc enough to be useful. And it can chain react as well, so that's good. Like that. Holy shit, when a Thames proccing, B skin goes fucking wild. Dude, what the hell? Chill in the corner there? Tricky bitch. Big John chill in there. I want to deal with you, Big Johns. Health is okay. Keep this going. Don't like the prospect of you diving at me. Should you dive at intense speeds? Hopefully, I've not really noticed it too much, but hopefully, um, what on earth is this attack? Never seen that before. Um, hopefully, uh, Sci-Fly will help us out a ton in the last fight. I didn't really think about having Sci-Fly, but it should be pretty useful. Not particularly happy with the damage I've taken so far. Health is still okay. Not where I'd want it to be at all. I've hooked him. I don't really know what that means for me, but I've hooked him. Oh, the spikes came up below me as well, for fuck's sake. I need some stuff to help me out here. Oh, I already spent all my money. Fuck. If I had my money, this would actually be so good. 
There's so many rooms. My goodness. Damn, what a shame. Oh, I see. I see the problem with this room right now. I didn't realize there was buttons. Okay, not bad. Damn it, glass cannon, how did you miss? We're not getting many chests because we've only got one luck as well, so... Hasn't gone particularly well in that department. Oh, fuck this boss as well. With the ghosties too. While being knocked about a ton. Oh, this is bad. That was a perfect glass cannon usage right there. That's what you want to see. How'd my thing end there while I was killing stuff? Hey, there you go, Thim. Pop off the Thim. <laughs> I just love the way it makes B skin go fucking wild. It makes it crazy. Ooh, full burn heart there, lovely. Like that. What the hell? Transformed this bitch. Last chest. Juicy sack to end it off. The good first, uh, first usage there. Right, really hoping that Psyfly has my back in this fight. Nice, okay. Got you taken care of. No thank you. Right, back to try and do Mega Satan. I'm a little bit wary of it all, to be honest. I think it could be problematic for us. But, I don't know, we'll just give it a go and see what happens. Let's just go for it. I suppose I could take the guppy's paw and use it, but I don't know. It's maybe not super useful with the health that I've currently got. Aw, oh, our, our shithead is not in a good position at all. Okay, we, we unfortunately got uh, just a blue fire there, which is not very good. Sci-fly, you do your thing, do your thing, and take care of these. Doing a good enough job right now. He's still pretty good, but remember when he was just absolutely broken? <laughs> Remember the first run I got of him was the first run that I beat Mother. Just ludicrous. At least we got the uh, the, the bruising shots to deal a bit more damage. Take care of the hands first because they can cause some real issues. Okay, this is going reasonably well so far. We've not taken any... Uh, any damage. Holy shit. Them <laughs> going book wild right now. <clears throat> Just lagging the game like shit and making me go crazy. We got him to about half HP on our own. Oh, he spawned the mini bosses in. He doesn't do this often. It's really very annoying when he does because he summons them with his uh with his other attacks. I just get a battery there. Really it was just a boomerang. Okay. Taken care of. Got you my good old guy. Health is not bad. It's not great. Got another charge there. I don't really know what this was. He summoned more of these fuckers? I've never seen him do that twice. Very annoying. Okay, 
toast, toasted first phase. Not much health to do the second phase, I'll be honest. This is a very low amount of health to do the second phase on. Definitely toss my bombs in there, and I basically am going to be relying on Psyfly to help me out. And then relying on my swing ability to do my main lot of damage. There you go. Because we can, once we get our swing ability, we can get in there and actually deflect most of his attacks too. The only thing is we have nothing to kill to extend our duration anymore. Why does the bombs do that? I place it and I hit it directly forward. And it's like, I'm going to go way off to the right. But it's not, not what I did at all. Not what I intended in the slightest. It's just kind of evil for you to assume I did. Also, Rotgut, you're in the worst possible position. You keep dragging me back, and you're not doing anything to help with the position of his tears. Holy hell. Okay, he's basically dead. We should be fine. There you go. We got it. Beautiful run. A beautiful unlock. All of which I'm very happy with. I mean, we could go to the void. I suppose there's no harm in it. Let's just go. Crane games unlocked. Beautiful. I don't know what we get for doing this. I think it's the berserk item. Um, there's no really harm in us doing it, but I just don't think it's going to go particularly well because we don't have all the health right now. Walking on spikes isn't going to help either. Don't know what the fuck these things are, but I'm a bit worried about them. Can't get through the poop because of my thing being too... My range being too much. The grapple hook, why? Why are you like this? Ow. I'm already taking way too much damage. God damn hate these ghost enemies. Not moving around so much. Just die. Oh god. With nine lives, I, sh I shouldn't have come here with nine lives because I'm going to have to die so many times. That room was gross. Really, all of this way and not a single boss. Gotta love that. Double Balrogs, nice. Alright. Oh, 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 the glass cannon proc is just so nice. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. Oh god, we're on one heart now. One heart and a dream. I think I threw out an Ethereum ring there. What the hell was that? More puberty. Yeah. Okay. I'm still making it through somehow. Things are going reasonably well enough. Just not got any health is all. I would like more health. Ow, that's our first death. Only eight more to go before we can relieve ourselves from this hell. Oh, what the hell? I this this room's fucked. What the hell's up with this? I can't even hit these enemies. Oh, that's okay. They turn off. Good. You gotta say otherwise that room's completely boxed. Here he is. Wasn't expecting him so early. I've managed to grapple hook myself to him. God damn it. Didn't want to do that. Oh, 
Oh, I was hoping he did the glitch and just killed himself, but sadly not. No glitch for us this time. This is a very unlikely opportunity for me to kill him, by the way, if anyone's wondering. It's, yeah, very unlikely to happen because I'm already dead. Right. Leave this room. I fucking hate this. Who designed this? Let me leave the room. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Right. We need the other bosses so we can get items. Not going so well so far. Where the hell are all the other bosses? Okay. Stop. Small rock is nice. There's a rainbow guy there that just annihilated me. We died again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did just throw out a, a thingy ring there. Where are it? I've literally not come across a single other boss yet. How? Actually, how? This is baffling. to so many rooms. Show me where the bosses are. Still no bosses. What the hell is going on here? Still no bosses. Okay, finally we found another boss. It's the horsey boys. Stapler. Really not what we need. We need just a redonkulous amount of HP. Three bosses here, good. Demon baby ain't gonna cut it. Really? Gotta fight this guy again. On one HP as well. This phase is easy. We'll take him out before we even finish this, I think. There you go. Second phase is much less likely for me to not take damage. Okay, we got it. Grants the curse, all sets up. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Let's die. Oh my god, we're getting so much damage and just no health at all. Skip me through rooms, game. Not what we need right now. Right. I do see a half soul heart somewhere in here. Where is it? I see it on the map. Where's the half soul heart? There it is. We can we can survive one hit officially. Holy hot damn! It's a miracle. Mm. 
And there's still a frog left? What the hell? Get out of here, froggy. Happen, nice. Okay, there's got to be a few more bosses about through here. I hope. Not looking good so far. There's a boss. Fruity Plum unlocked, even though we already have Fruity Plum. Strange, but okay. Ugh, really? <laughs> this doesn't help at all. Okay, I think we've cleared out all the bosses. Then there's any more chances of bosses, so... We are doing this with just half a heart to spare. Probably not gonna go so hot, but I will give it my best shot. I will give it my best shot. Unfortunately, we have to travel a light year away in order to get back to the goddamn boss. No cards or anything for us to use. There could be a secret room right here, maybe. Nope. Secret room on this floor is very hard to find. Right, not seeing tinted rocks. Right, let's go. Go time once again. Sci-Fly, I'm going to need you to be the best Sci-Fly you've ever fucking been. Otherwise, you're cancelled. A the thing there spawning the eyes is pretty nice. Your position here is also pretty good because you're managing to do a lot of damage to yourself. Also, the more bullet hits we get on him, the more damage he takes, so that's going to be good. Factory there doesn't do anything for us. I'm just worried about the telefrags. The telefrags are really the thing that's going to just destroy us. Really good damage on him there. No Ethereum hit, sadly. The explosives are also pretty bad. You tried to brimstone me there, I saw that. And he comes with the telefrags again. I'm having trouble finding him there, but we've, we found him. It's just down here. He's laid down the body, which is annoying because that doesn't go away. Turn back into yourself. Turn back into your normal body. And I'll forgive you for your sins. Oh, for fuck's sake, the stomps. Okay, that was very brief. I like that. Okay, he's back in his normal body. Oh, for fuck's sake, that was perfect timing as well. We got it. Ho ho ho, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Awesome. Good run. Good run. More achieved than I would have expected, and I very much like that. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun run indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.